Let's check the water. Zero PPM. Hey there, Internet. Keith here, and welcome to the Cars to Keith YouTube channel. And in this video, we're going over the Envig CarShine Spotless Car Wash System. It's about 180 bucks on Amazon. Not with any deals or anything. It's just right at 180 bucks. This right here is what I consider to be an all-in-one package, which means you don't have to get anything else. Well, other than a TDS meter. It doesn't come with a TDS meter, so you need to get one so you can be able to check your water. It's like a three-way shower bypass and a, a half-inch T and a half-inch uh, braided hose going around the back here. Uh, and you know uh, conversion to garden hose which is great because most of your systems say like the max water system right here which I use on my mobile cart I've had this thing for almost three years now and it doesn't have the garden hose threads it's MPT so you have to convert them to garden hose threads to be able to hook up your hose on one end and then your hose going out this side the size of the caps and the housings on this are slightly smaller because these are bigger because of the output now that's one of my concerns uh, can it keep up uh, that's what i want to make sure it can output zero ppm water at two gallons per minute it does have color change resin uh, these are two and a half by ten these are standard filter housings like everyone out there on the market that's two and a half by ten will fit these filters and these filters actually are refillable so you'll be able to take them apart and then whenever the resin is fully exhausted with the color change it'll start to turn rust color now the color change resin is a little more expensive and it's not any better than say the Colombian Bam Bam from our water drop commercials. It came all like cryo back. It looked like a kilo of, of uh, you know, some kind of substance. I picked up this. No, this is not a kilo of Colombian Bam Bam. What the hell are you talking about? Cops are coming. There's a kilo of Colombian Bam Bam under the car. This stuff right here is $45 uh, for seven pounds. And that's enough to fill up two of those huge 10 inch um, canisters over there each one three and a half pounds each one of these is 1.25 pounds these are easy to change in and out they're not extremely heavy this first resin filter is going to get hit first uh, and then it will be subsequent through the other two so this one will deplete faster than the other two with this max water this is about 120 bucks it's 180 bucks added one stage and a full bypass so this is a really good deal can it do what we wanted to do we'll find out soon color change resin for something like this uh, you can buy 1.25 pound bags for like $16. So you're talking almost $50. You fill six canisters with this. Now, several companies also sell two and a half by 10 inch uh, refillable cartridges that already come with the resident for $20. So 60 bucks gives you three full refill cartridges plus the resident side. I think a five pound bag of the color change is about the same price as this one. So a two pound difference. That color change may be big because obviously it's a see-through. That color change is big for you because you can start to see it before your TDS meter is going to tell you. Either alter the filters to take this one that gets used less, put it up front to kind of equal out and even it out, or just keep changing that front one. This is half-inch housings. Like I said, that's going to be my concern that there's not going to be enough flow. You have an input and output, so that's a true input and output. You can't reverse this. But... If say that this doesn't match your wall format, you want the end to be on that side, you just unscrew these screws at the top here and you just turn this mounting plate around. Uh, the holes are all parallel and perfectly the same, so it'll go on both sides. That will allow you to turn it this way uh, against your wall and you could have it on the opposite side. Obviously you get your filter wrench right here so you can take on and off the filters. Now, actually, our listing on Amazon is quite unique. Most of the companies that post, they always give you like a chart. This is what it does. But they actually give you a disclaimer. It says water quality and this and that. And this is based off of this many grams of uh, calcium and this many grams of magnesium. And they specifically state chlorine and chloramine can change that tremendously. But they do state 200 TDS should get you about 95 gallons. So in theory, I'm at 50 ppm. If I have the exact same water quality that they were stating, then I should be able to get three to 400 gallons. Uh, but what I've done is taken it completely apart because this basically comes hand tight, which I saw some complaints and uh, some of the comments on this that uh, it leaked. And I could tell by looking at it, it, was, it, was, it wasn't it was tight. Uh, but I'm definitely using my Blue Monster tape on every thread.
So this is the flex seal hose, and as you can see, the mail man actually swivels, so it's very easy to connect with this. Anything in this video is going to be linked below. So I'm not quite sure what is off, what's on. We're going to find out together. Uh, so this little shutoff valve is uh, all the way this way. So let's turn on a little bit. If the filter's starting to fill up, I know. All right, that's to the filters. Let's do this way. What does that do? Still filling up the filter, but all the way to this way. It should come out over here. There we go. So you have filters with it going that way or going out towards the hose. It's going to go through the hose and then go through the bypass. So I'm going to turn that kind of on full just to see the bypass and see how it can handle water flow. Air bubbles scared me up really started moving. All right, it's running full, 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 full. Can you hear it? We are running 5.2 gallons per minute. Can the filtration keep the flow going to at least 2.0 gallons per minute and at the same time clean it to zero PPM? What we first have to do is turn on, fill all these filters up and then run about five gallons through it. Uh, and then we can start testing water quality. What I want to do right now is grab a little bit of water, test the before. So I'm going to keep the bypass off, run water, fill up a cup. I don't have, I don't see any leaks yet, which is good. Let's test this water. 57 ppm. Pretty decent water. I mean, if it wasn't for the chloramine and chloramine, I'd have some really long lasting resin. All right, now we're going to flip. Hearing a whole bunch of noise and it's scaring me, but they're not leaking. Full pressure. You see the water circulating through the filters. Very nice. It's aerating more in these two. This one's more full on. We are at 2.1 gallons per minute. The flow is there. Let's see if we've run our five gallons. About five and a half gallons run through so far, so let's grab. As you can see, zero, zero, zero PPM. Our first goal of whether or not this is worth the money has passed. It can run 2.1 gallons per minute and it can clean to zero PPM from my water. Obviously, it could be different for other people. If you're at the point to where you're gonna have a problem with this getting you to zero PPM, you need to get big boy stuff. To give stuff to give you a lot more surface area. Turned off the carbon filters on my water drop setup. It's just running bypass right now because I didn't want it to affect the lifespan of this because uh, obviously this doesn't come with a carbon filter. Here we go, full flow. Now the fact that this is kind of in the water is probably why it's less. I took it out, it went up 0.1 back to 2.1 gallons per minute. But as long as we maintain this 2.0, I think we're good. Oh, that actually does work. Look at that. You guys can see the water moving. It's probably going to bubble over the edge and then come back into the wood. Perfect. Let's check the water. Zero PPM. So we're going to let this run for as long as it takes before this hits probably about 5 PPM. Then we'll check out how many gallons it is. Let's hope the neighbors don't call saying I have a water line busted, but it is kind of nice that they would be that observant and caring. So it's not that's not a bad thing. But uh, enjoy the time lapse. You can still go, even when you feel slow. You can still go, even when there's no hope. You can still go. I never answered a no, man. I still go, 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 go. Every single day, I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave. Through the system, I don't want to be a slave. I've been doing shit my way, uh, or the highway, and in the driveway is a nice way. Uh, 284.8 gallons at that uh, 5 ppm mark. 5 ppm is still really considered spotless water, but if you want to go at 0 ppm, it did it at about the 250 mark, uh, and it degraded very, very quickly because. 
This filter, you can see it's brown. The color change happened. Fully exhausted that. Now there isn't enough surface area in these two to keep up with that flow of water. Well, now this one's completely exhausted, let's just take this one out so I can show you real quick how you would pop the filter top off. Because I actually saw some comments as well saying it wasn't refillable and it was hard to find the refills. Well, actually, you should refill it yourself. You can use 80 cal refill. It doesn't have to be this exact kind because they all take two and a half by 10 universal cartridges. So you gotta kinda get way over here to get your leverage. But if we do things right, we should get there just a little bit of a splash, not much, just good. The great thing about these small ones is they're so much lighter than those massive CR Spotless 20 inches. So the biggest difference between uh, this top than the other ones you have on the market is this one doesn't screw off the top. Almost all the other ones, the top screws off it's very easy. That's why I think a lot of people thought this was not a, a refillable filter. It, it is. Uh, there's a good bit of pressure in there, so I can't pop it up that way. But if I just take my screwdriver in there, give it a little bit of pop, see the top comes off. It's got little tabs here. There is your washer. This little tray comes out, kind of a filter tray. And then you have a cloth or a styrofoam cloth mix filter here. That's what keeps that resin from getting through into your system. So you can see up close, it's a very uh, brown sugar-like uh, substance. It's very, very grainy. You would fill it all the way up to the top. You know, hit it a few times, get it to settle down. Uh, you just kind of pack it really, really tight. And then once you've done, you'll put your foam filter back in. You'll put your tray filter in there as well. And that only goes down to about a quarter inch down. And then you pop your top on. Then you can pop that in here. And then you screw it on and making sure that you're kind of centered so you get a good seal. Because if you don't get a good seal, the water could leak past that uh, washer housing and bleed through instead of going down in here it just kind of sneaks through it's called blow by and uh it could kind of hurt your efficiency add a little ppm not be as effective all those types of things i think the value's there 180 bucks it's got a full built-in bypass it can run 2.0 gallons per minute so when you're running like an active 2.0 with a 4.0 nozzle or less you're gonna be good to go because that's like 1.95 1.93 gallons per minute an active BE-52 is about 1.9 gallons per minute there, so you're good. AR Blue is going to be above that threshold. Uh, Cranesla, I don't really don't know the numbers on Cranesla. I'm not going to spend that kind of money. In future videos, I'm going to be doing some more DI stuff, uh, different types of bypasses, building your own stuff. I think I also want to try some smaller tank uh, ones that people use for like RVs and stuff uh, and see how effective those are as well. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check out the links below. I'll see you in the next video. Hey there, Internet. Keeve here. And what? <clears throat> and welcome to the Course Keep YouTube channel. That's the wrong one. That's the wrong. That's the wrong one. What an idiot! I picked up this. No, this is not a kilo of Colombian Bam Bam. What the hell are you talking about? Cops are coming. There's a kilo of Colombian Bam Bam under the car.